In this module, we are going to look at how web services can be provisioned. Because in NGN, web services are mostly associated with HTTP protocol. So the overall framework which governs the provisioning of web services is actually dependent upon how the user interacts with the application. And in that case, it is mostly HTTP. So the web services uh, control functions actually are based upon HTTP because the HTTP payload carries these uh, control functions. Uh, so the overall framework is generalized, which is dependent upon HTTP. And uh, we can classify these web services into three broad um, um, categories. The first one is the legacy web service. The second one is the conversation service. And the last one is actually the uh, IP-based television services. So we'd look at exactly how each one of these is provisioned once the framework of HTTP is used. Now, the overall control functionality is governed by the web services control functions, uh, which determine the choice of appropriate web server, whichever has the most appropriate web pages, HTML, for example, uh, upon the user's request. For that, a uh, directory is consulted for uh, a list of potential web servers which have the right uh, reply to this particular request. And then the user profile is also consulted because uh, the user actually has certain um, configurations, preferences, and uh, the user may also have some uh, record which needs to be consulted. For instance, uh, uh, the transaction history of the user, which is going to eventually determine what kind of services can be provisioned. So it, it actually gets down to uh, this much um, simplicity that web server now creates a particular web service uh, which is as per the demand of the uh, user. Uh, for static web services, it is as simple as that. But once we are looking at the conversation service, which is actually going to involve uh, uh, two parties having a symmetric communication with each other, uh, an example is the uh, IP telephony. Again, HTTP is used to encapsulate the web service control functions that pertain to IP multimedia component. Uh, the IP multimedia component is going to be another server on the network side that can talk to the end user um, to provide certain um, telephony configurations and initial settings. So the service component actually creates the conversation uh, service between these calling party and the called party using standard uh, application programming interface. Um, for instance, if the user is using Skype um, telephony, then correspondingly, the appropriate uh, configurations are made such that uh, the dialing process and the call uh, receiving process are uh, simulated like real telephone. Uh, so the IMS, IP multimedia subsystem, actually manages the call servers and uh, establishes all the uh, connection requests and responses uh, between the client and the server. So if you look at the legacy web services, it is as simple as uh, encapsulated web service control function requests. Now, the web service control functions actually using the web media functions, which are governed by the multimedia transcoding and encoding formats to allow communication between the client and the server. Here you can see we have a web server. That web server responds to the client requests depending upon uh, what services can be invoked and which web server to be contacted. In the second example of web-based conversation service, uh, we have the IP multimedia subsystem that emulates uh, the PSTN and PLMN kind of uh, network services for SS7, etc. So we have that on the network side, on the NGN side, I mean. And uh, we have the client request encapsulated in HTTP, managed through our WSCF. And uh, after consulting the appropriate user profile, uh, then uh, the requests are uh, used to establish connection between the two parties. And uh, then we have the last one, that is IP uh, TV service, 
in iptv service it's mostly a downstream service where the content is actually uh, pre-stored or streamed live from the you know, streaming servers or the storage servers it's it's audio visual content uh, so again the request is made in exactly the same way uh, both in web based conversation service appropriate codecs are used and then in iptv services appropriate uh, codecs and uh, encoding schemes have to be utilized so if their video format is not provisioned uh, by uh, the uh, uh, server to the client which is uh, uh, supported in that case the uh, web media functions actually perform the uh, transcoding or translation of format from one to the other